guys, this is Sarah, and today is the Wednesday, February 11th, which means it's time for another Top 5 Wednesday. Today's Top 5 Wednesday is books that take place in your country, region, or area. And again, I had to cheat. But this one, this, this one, it's needed. Like, I, it's needed, okay? I live in Venezuela. There's not that many books that take place in Venezuela that are either young adult or adult written in English. And the ones written in Spanish are usually historical books, as in you study them in history class. So obviously I have not read those. So I thought, okay, I'll go pick where I used to live, San Diego, California. And then I realized I have not read any books from San Diego, California either. So I picked California the state. And that's how it's going to be, okay? Okay. So I picked some books that I have not read. The last number five, no, yeah, number five and number four I have not read, but I will be reading. And the others I have read, they take place in different parts of California, either San Francisco, Los Angeles, in between. So yeah, let's get started, shall we? In slot number five is Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour. This is on my TBR for this month, and I'm really excited to read it because it's LGBT, and the cover is really cute, and it's in California. So yes, hopefully later I'll like comment on the description and tell you guys what I would have said if I would have read this. Yes, so come back and check it out a few times to see if I've written something. I will do that. In spot number four is Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. This is one of the first books on my TBR, so I've probably read this by now, so check the description because I've probably read this already. If you did not know, I pre-film all of my videos on Sundays, so it's not really February 11th, and I'm not really wearing this today. Now to a book I've actually read in spot number three is Don't Die Dragonfly by Linda Joy Singleton. This is the first book in her The Seer series. I love this series. I think it's so, so good. More people definitely need to read it. Please read it. I think it's really, really great. It's sort of like witches, psychic, wicca type of thing. She gets visions of people. And it's very, really cool, and the cover's pretty, so check it out. In spot number two is a classic of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. I read this in my sophomore year of high school, and I really, really enjoyed it. It's very sad. We deal with uh, mental disabilities and prejudice, and the end made me very, very sad. But it was very good. It's a good book. It really makes you want to think about these things. And even though it's sort of like historical and set way back when, you can still see how these things prevail today. So I really, really enjoyed it, and you guys should check it out. And in spot number one is The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan. This is the first book in the Heroes of Olympus series. Obviously, I'm going to sneak one of his books in on my Top 5 Wednesday. This is set in San Francisco with uh, the whole new cast of characters, and it's freaking awesome, and I love it so much. I want to reread it at some point. Maybe this year, maybe next year, who knows, but at some point I'm going to reread this whole series, including Percy Jackson, and it's going to be stellar, and you guys should do it with me. If you have not read it, well, you can start from the beginning, but we should reread together. Yes. So, I hope you like this video. Um, let me know what are your favorite books from your country, region, or area. I'd love to find some new material. I definitely should start looking around my own country more. I know I'm a disappointment as a Venezuelan, but you guys don't understand the problems here, okay? Okay. Let me know your thoughts of my books down in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!